Hello everyone, welcome to Korean Fluency Journey and in today's video I want to touch the topic of vocabulary. How to learn new words, how to use them, and how, what are the tips or techniques that I use in order to learn new words and effectively and efficiently use them in conversation or in writing. So, well, there are two methods that, that I actually stick to Oh, when learning a word, a new word. Uh, the first one is the traditional method. So most of you who are watching this video are already familiar with this method. method. Uh, it, it involves just writing down the words, the list of words, and then translating. Well, I usually do like this when I face a new word um, in a reading or actually when I prepare for an exam. So I need to memorize the list of vocabulary. I do like this. First, I write the Korean and then the translation. Uh, the third column will be about the part of speech. So is it an adjective? Is it a word or an adverb, etc. And then the th fourth column will be about the uh, examples how to use that words for example uh, you can actually make your own sentences example sentence or you can refer to the examples given in the dictionary so um, there are lots of examples if you take even one word you will see a lot of examples and it has it might have a lot of uh, meanings so if it's hard for you to come up with your own example you can use the the one in the dictionary so it's a very um, good way to increase vocabulary uh, and uh, learn them. Also, uh, it's, it should not be necessarily a sentence. You can also use collocations with, that, with the word that you want to learn, uh, like make a mistake, let's say in English, right? Uh, it's also a better way because to learn uh, a new word because when you want to speak, um, using that word if you already have or learned that uh, collocation with the word or example sentence it automatically uh, comes to your mind so that you can easily use in the conversation or in your speaking and the second method that i use uh, in order to learn and increase my vocabulary is uh, contextual uh, vocabulary learning so i take a book any kind of reading Actually, reading is the best way to increase your vocabulary, right? In listening or in speaking, we sometimes can miss the words or ignore some words that we don't know. But in reading, for example, you read and you always stop because if you do not know the word, you cannot understand the meaning. So that's why uh, I prefer reading to listening or speaking in, in terms of increasing vocabulary. So I take a newspaper or any kind of books, just a passage, and if I encounter a new word, I try to write only the meaning in that context. Let's say we have the word uh, 지각하다. So it means mostly we know it as to become late, right? To be late, to run late for something like 수업에 지각하다 but uh, it might also be used uh, in the context like to realize or to perceive or to figure out so 지각하다, like if I know or if I encounter that word in that context so I will just learn that uh, meaning and you try to practice only with that meaning so I try to use it in my speaking or in my writing and also if you don't know how to use the word that you already know or that you already uh, learned you can like make a video or make your own sentence and talk in front of the mirror or in front of the camera you can make your own sentence so that until it, it uh, sticks to uh, like it sticks to your memory so that you can automatically um, produce it while speaking uh, so this is the uh, how I learn new words and how I take notes when I encounter new words 
And one more thing when it comes to learning uh, new words. So if you're at a beginner level, so it's okay to write the translation and to uh, like in your native language. But when you uh, advance, so you can use the Korean Korean dictionary. So uh, for the beginners, you can use the neighbor dictionary and for the advanced level students, like from the fourth to the sixth level, you can use the Korean Korean dictionary so that you will uh, try to understand and think in the uh, Korean like language. So uh, actually I have this kind of dictionary, like big one, this is Korean Korean. So uh, it's a paper dictionary. I do not use it very often now because you know, I, I already have the my smartphone and the neighbor dictionary it also has the Korean Korean dictionary version. So, but sometimes I try to look up in, in this kind of dictionary, paper dictionary. It's really useful and it's full of uh, example, rich in uh, great examples, uh, so that you can understand. And when you uh, actually try to learn word with the definition in that language you try to think at first it might seem a bit challenging and tedious work because you will encounter and you will face other unknown words in that definition as well it might uh, take a lot of time but uh, it's a good practice to learn how to think in that language in the foreign language so uh, me as well when I learn new words and when I write the, their definitions and in Korean Korean I always uh, most of the time uh, come up with I face the words that I don't know the meaning I mean in the context as well so it's okay to not to know uh, you don't have to know all the words and because we we do not use all of them in our conversation but um, it's also important that uh, you should you should be able to know how to use those words in conversation in your writing or in other like um, contexts if you want to use them so that's why knowing uh, words and then being able to apply and use them in conversation is another thing there are two different things so most people might know like thousands millions of words but they are not um, able to use or show that kind of uh, ability in the in their like output so uh, if you do not use them then there is no need to learn so they will become just uh, 무용 지물. There is a phrase in Korean that means like a thing or a person with no use or with no value. So if you do not practice, then uh, they, you will forget in the end. So if you have any questions or comments about the uh, vocabulary learning, I will try to make some other videos as well, detailed videos about uh, how I learn, I will try to demonstrate the process of learning, my process of learning new words. Um, but for the beginning, I'm just limited to these kind of general videos. If you have suggestion, ideas, anything, uh, you're, wel you're welcome to uh, leave them in the comment box. So I'll see you in my next videos. Hope you will have.